Hello students. We are going to discuss very important topic in chemical bonding that is hydrogen bonding that is called hydrogen bond. We know there are different types of chemical bond exist between the molecules. The nature of molecule depends upon the nature of force exist between the in between them. And they also show different behavior, different physical behavior. This is due to intermolecular force. The nature of force is very important to study the nature of the molecules. Already we have read covalent bond, ionic bond, coordinate covalent bond, van der Waal force. So different types of force exist. Then today we will discuss uh, different types of uh, force, chemical bond that is called hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bond you see the tall indicates involvement of hydrogen atom. Here in this bonding hydrogen is involved. That's why it is called hydrogen bond. You can say, you can define in this way. It is the force of attraction. It is the force of attraction between hydrogen atom and it is the force of attraction between hydrogen atom and more electronegative negative atom of a polar molecule. The force of attraction between hydrogen atom and more electronic atom of polar molecule. That means here the force of attraction between hydrogen atom and electronegative atom. These two is very important. Already we have read that the polarity of covalent bond when the bond is formed between different atoms having different electronegativity then the more electronegative atom will be partially negatively charged and the less electronegative atom will be partially positively charged so hydrogen atom if you see hydrogen atom and more electronegative atom hydrogen we carry partially positive charge and electronegative atom will carry partially negative charge. So there is a force of attraction between partially positive hydrogen atom and partially negative electronegative atom. This force of attraction is called hydrogen bond. For example, take one example. Suppose HF. This is a covalent bond. This is a covalent one, the molecule is a covalent molecule, but as fluorine is more electronegative, it gets partially negative charge, hydrogen gets partially positive charge. So, when another molecule comes closer, so there is an attraction, electrostatic force or attraction between H and F, partially positive, partially negative. So, this is a covalent bond, you can say it is a covalent bond, CV covalent bond, but this one, this indicate hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is represented by dotted line. Dotted line means it is a hydrogen bond, it is a electrostatic force of attraction between two polar molecules having partially positive hydrogen atom and partially negative electronegative atom. This force of attraction is called hydrogen bond. 
So you can say hydrogen bond and ionic bond. If you say ionic bond is also electrostatic force of attraction between between cation and anions, and here it is also electrostatic force of attraction. Only difference is in case of ionic bond, fully charged, fully complete positive or complete negative charge is formed on the atom or group of atoms. Formation of ions, formation of radicals occurs due to the electrostatic force of attraction between opposite charge ions. Ionic bond is formed. But here also is the force of attraction between positive and negative. But here the this positive is not fully positive or fully negative. It is partially positive. Partially negative means the charge on the atom is less. That's why this bond is a weak bond compared to ionic bond. If you see the nature of force is compared, you remember the nature of force is like this. First is ionic bond. Then covalent bond. Then which will come hydrogen bond. Then van der Waals force. So if you compare the nature of force, ionic bond, covalent bond, hydrogen bond, and van der Waals force. So hydrogen bond is a weak bond. It is not a very strong bond. It is also a weak bond, and it is but it is greater than van der Waals force. Weakest bond is van der Waals force. It is the weakest force. Weakest force. Weakest force is your van der Waals force, and strongest we can say ionic bond. Okay, so we can uh, compare the nature of force in this way. But in hydrogen bond is also electrostatic force of attraction. But here partial positive is always which one hydrogen. Partially positive hydrogen and partially negative electronegative atom that is called a hydrogen bond. And if you uh, discuss regarding the factors affecting hydrogen bond, what are the factors affecting hydrogen bond? Or we can say what are the condition factors affecting hydrogen bond? If you see. Factors affecting hydrogen bond. First molecule should be polar. Polar covalent molecule. Polar covalent molecule having partially having partially positive hydrogen. Polar covalent molecule having partially positive hydrogen and partially negative heteroatom. You can say like this heteroatom. Both should exist. Polar covalent molecule having partially positive and partially negative charge. And negative charge always carry on the electron negative atom. Must be there. Then second. Factor is electronegativity, high electronegativity. High electronegativity should be there. If electronegativity will be more, then the strength of hydrogen bond will be more. So high electronegativity also one important factor. High electronegativity and also can tell small size. Small size. If size will be small, then electronegativity will be more automatically. So small size heteroatom, and that means high electronegativity. And polar molecule should be polar. When molecule will be polar, then partial positive, partial negative will be developed. So these two things are very really important factor: polarity, polarity of the molecule, and the electronegativity. Difference. This thing. 
then uh, types of hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bond is the illustrative force of attraction between partial positive hydrogen and partial negative electron negative atom. This it may occur in case it may take place between the same atom, between the same molecule or it may be different molecules. So if it occurs in the, within the same molecule that is called intra intramolecular hydrogen bond intramolecular hydrogen bond that means within the same within the same molecule within the same molecule within the same molecule it exists for example Suppose this is one organic compound having OH group, having nitro group. If you see, this also exists. If you see the, this is called intra. Here hydrogen bonding takes place between partial positive hydrogen and partial negative here oxygen. So partially positive hydrogen and partially negative oxygen is formed. If you see this, this structure will be hexagon. It will be hexagon type, hexagon, hexagonal structure. I have not drawn, but the shape will be hexagon. So when hydrogen bonding, intramolecular hydrogen bond is formed, a hexagonal shape is produced. Because if you see. So if you draw the structure is like this, if I am drawing this one, if you see partial positive, partial negative, so hexagon, this hexagon shape is produced due to the hydrogen bonding. So, you can say it is called intramolecular because in between the, in between the same molecule it exists. Suppose I am closing my hands it, by joining two hands. It is intra. If you join one, I am joining the hand with the other friends. That is inter. Standing by catching hand or join the hands to hand that is called interconnection but this connection is intra this connection we can say intra within me within me it occurs so that is called intra if you, I catch other hands similarly next friend will catch another friends so that is called intermolecular so it is intramolecular hydrogen bonding this type of hydrogen bonding generally occurs when the molecule will have only functional nature. If the molecule will have function more than one functional group, then two functional group will attract each other by hydrogen bonding due to its polarity. So this is called intramolecular hydrogen bond. But another type of hydrogen bond you can say that one intramolecular inter intramolecular hydrogen bond intermolecular hydrogen bond means within different molecules in between different molecules that you can say different molecules between different molecules different means not within the same for example HF 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 like this partially minus partially plus 
this is intermolecular hydrogen bond water molecule if you drop partially negative partially positive partially negative partially positive negative positive this force that is also called inter because water molecule water molecule within the that means don't think within the water molecule no this is a one molecule this is another molecule this is another molecule but here same molecule it is a single molecule it is a single molecule molecule is one and the bond is takes place between the functional group this is called intra and this is called but you know in navodaya what happens inter house competition is going on we are conducting inter house and sometimes also we are conducting intra house intra house means within the same house that is intra and inter means in between different house competition similarly hf1 molecule another hf molecule different molecules so this force is called intermolecular hydrogen bond if you see the actual shape of water molecule water is generally produce four hydrogen bonding if you actually diagram if you draw this is one molecule then this is also hydrogen force oxygen molecule this is like this if you see you see so this water molecule this water molecule forming hydro how many hydrogen bonds four this is one this is one this is one this one so four hydrogen bond is produced by this water molecule so water molecule although it has two bonds two h bond but it produces four hydrogen bonds four what four hydrogen bond express so this is generally i structure i structure in case formation of ice from water this cage like structure cage gap is made due to the formation of this gap the density the volume increases volume volume of ice greater than water but density is less but density decreases so ice has a lower density than water due to this hydrogen bond formation cage like structure produced in ice in ice in between water molecule due to this hydrogen bonding so this is this is the example of structure of ice you can say this is simply the hydrogen bonding of this is also you can say like this here also hydrogen bond express this is not free so this is called intermolecular hydrogen bond this is called intramolecular hydrogen bonding then a very important thing is application of hydrogen bond how the hydrogen bond uh, that is the consequence of hydrogen bonding the results of hydrogen bonding that is very important let us discuss that is consequence consequence of hydrogen bonding consequence of hydrogen bonding what what are the application of hydrogen bonding where we are using first we can say that solubility increases solubility increases examples we know that alcohol is water soluble alcohol is water soluble this is roh alcohol it is 
attract water from the earth. Similarly, it can attract another alcohol like this. So, alcohol, water, alcohol. This force is hydrogen bonding. This force is hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bonding is generally represented by dotted line. Symbol is like this. This is the symbol of hydrogen bond. Dotted. Dotted symbol indicates hydrogen bond. So, alcohol, water, alcohol. Here, partially positive, partially negative, partially positive, partially negative, partially positive, partially negative. So, this bond. One molecule alcohol, another water molecule alcohol like this. In this way, alcohol is water soluble. Solubility also increases. We can say your that kilo uh, that uh, uh, oil oil is water insoluble. Water insoluble. Why oil is water insoluble? Because oil cannot form hydrogen bond with water. But alcohol is water soluble because water forms intermolecular. This what type of bond? Intermolecular hydrogen bonding. That's why the alcohol is water soluble. And your sugar is water soluble. Sugar. Sugar water soluble. Sugar water soluble. Due to hydrogen bonding. So Depends upon the nature of molecule, then the solubility also changes. Then another important factor is boiling point and melting point increasing. Increasing boiling point and melting point. Boiling point and melting point also increases. For example, if you compare that water has highest boiling point compared to H2S, then H2, sorry, H2T, H2PO, then H2T, then H2S. If you see the, the electronegativity difference, first oxygen, then sulfur, then tellurium, then polonium. But the order of electronegative, the order of boiling point is like this. Why water has higher boiling point? Because due to strong hydrogen bonding. Here water molecule, the hydrogen bonding is very strong. Due to strong hydrogen bonding, number of hydrogen bonding is more. As the number of hydrogen bonding is more, already more, if number of covalent bonds is more, then automatically the close packing will be more, melting point will be more, or boiling point will be more. Here, what happens? Water has more number of hydrogen bonding, that's why it is, it has high boiling point. Then, H2 is coming due to Van der force. Large size, it has no hydrogen bond, but Van der force is more, that's why after water, polonium compound will will be higher boiling, will have higher boiling point. So, H2S has least boiling point due to small size and very weak hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding of H2S is negligible. That's why H2S is a gas. You can say it is a gas, but it is a liquid. Here also you can compare. H2S is a gas. Normally at room temperatures, H2S is a gas, but at room temperatures water is liquid because it has intermolecular hydrogen bond, it has no hydrogen bond. So in this way you can compare the properties, increasing boiling point and melting point. Similarly, we can say that ammonia, boiling point of ammonia is greater than your PS3 and arsenic like this. Why? Why ammonia has although it's small size, Van der force is weak, but hydrogen bonding is strong compared to phosphine and arsenic. That's why boiling point and melting point of ammonia is maximum. So this is about intermolecular hydrogen bonding.
is more means boiling point melting point also more then another very important that is change in physical state change of state only i have told you water water is liquid co2 is gas h2 is gas if you see water is liquid co2 is gas h2 is gas why because water has strong intermolecular hydrogen bond as it has strong intermolecular hydrogen bond that's why water exists in liquid form co2 is gas because it is non polar first thing is non polar and no hydrogen bond co2 it has no hydrogen bonding that's why it is free molecule that's why exist in gaseous state so change of physical state glycerin glycerin has more viscous that is semi liquid compared to that your water glycerin if you see glycerin is semi viscous semi liquid that means it is not solid not the liquid means viscosity is very high of glycerin compared to water water is very uh, that uh, the fluidity of water is more than the glycerin it is free molecule the movement of water is free but the glycerin is very strong intermolecular attraction due to hydrogen bond which has more number of hydrogen bond if you draw the structure it is like this ch2h ch2h and ch2h as it has three oh molecule so number of hydrogen bond are more compared to water that's why it is more viscous compared to water viscosity more and it is become visco that is viscous liquid not free liquid unlike water so change of state also takes place so this is regarding the the physical application then other application is we will discuss now other application of hydrogen bonding intramolecular hydrogen bond if molecule has intramolecular hydrogen bond then intramolecular hydrogen bond means remember it has low boiling point volatile low boiling point volatile and low surface area low surface area everything volatile nature for example that uh, this compound this is ortho ortho nitrophenol has lower boiling point than para nitrophenol this is ortho this is para this is ortho position this is para position so this ortho nitrophenol boiling point is less than para nitrophenol because this bonding this intramolecular hydrogen bond it just it is just closing between the same function between the molecules within the same molecule so that it restrict the interaction with other molecules so this intramolecular hydrogen bonding results so that the interaction with other molecules that means the intramolecular attraction with either other molecules will be decrease but here one one functional group is interacting with the other functional group so that the number of linkage will be more the number of connection will be more inter connection will be more here inter connection will be locked here it is stopped here due to attraction between these groups between these two groups so next 
the interlinking will be stuck here interlinking is more that's why boiling point is more boiling point is less it is also you can say here boiling point is less boiling point is more and if you see the surface area here surface area is low surface area large surface area because it expanded from but it is closed it is becomes closed that's why low surface area large surface area this is very important intermolecular hydrogen bond and it is also observed that for examples that uh, hf hf has higher here hf molecule exists exists in hf2 minus it exists in hf2 minus why because hf molecule has partially positive and partially negative charge that's why the f minus due to more electronegativity it attracts partially positive and exists in hf2 molecule that's why it exists in some salt form khf2 it exists this is it exists in khf2 form this salt is exists but here if you see other cases your k hf br2 does not exist k h cl2 does not exist why because hydrogen bonding is very strong here due to more electronegativity f minus so it exists in this ion hf2 minus hf become hf2 minus form due to attraction of partially positive h plus and f minus another f minus of another molecule forming hf2 molecule exceptional character that's why this type of salt also exists in hf in case of taking fluorine but bromine chlorine iodine in kh i2 does not exist so this is the one exceptional character due to hydrogen then another thing also some molecule exists in dimeric and tetrameric form molecule some molecule exists in dimeric form dimeric tetrameric form also for example acetic acid acetic acid exists in dimeric form if you draw the structure of acetic acid this is the acetate ion acetic acid then another acetic acid molecule like this so what happens this molecule attract hydrogen bonding between this so oh of one molecule attract co of another molecule similarly oh to another molecule so this hexagon hexagon type of structure produced between two acetic acid it is called dimer so due to dimeric form high boiling point high bp boiling point is acetic acid is much higher than alcohol why acetic acid has higher boiling point than alcohol because alcohol low boiling point alcohol has lower boiling point than acetic acid because acetic acid exists in dimeric form so molar mass is more and another important thing is also due to this dimeric form acetic acid acetic acid has molar mass 120 acetic acid has molar mass 120 instead instead of 60 Generally, acid. If you calculate acidic acid, normal molar mass will be that is 60. Because 14, 14 and 428, 28 and 32, that is 60. So normal molar mass is 60, but in benzene, acidic acid has molar mass 120 in benzene, in benzene solvent, in benzene solvent, it is. it has 120 instead of 60 normal molar mass is 
but in benzene solution acidic acid has 120 double due to dimeric form so molar mass also changes molar mass also increases due to hydrogen bonding expected molar mass calculated molar mass and exper experimental molar mass are different due to some dimeric form honey is more viscous than honey is more viscous than water honey is more viscous than water honey diesel honey or glycerin honey or glycerin is more viscous than water due to strong hydrogen bonding so these are some important applic another application i tell you very important that uh, the protein molecule it has different structure different structure different structure of protein that prime secondary tertiary secondary tertiary quaternary structure of quaternary structure of protein due to hydrogen bonding this is due to hydrogen bonding and another thing almost already you know that uh, coil shape of dna molecule coil shape of dna molecule due to hydrogen bonding due to hydrogen bonding so there are so many applications of hydrogen bond if you see it has tremendous application in different field you can say that due to this hydrogen bonding the physical property chemical property of the molecule changes so you practice more you read different books for uh, getting more information more application of the hydrogen bond and you will have better knowledge about hydrogen bonding okay thank you all